pharmacist that cares. So it's finally acts like a little bit of spring today, right? It's the sun shining. It's getting a little bit warmer. So when we're thinking about spring break, Easter is just in a couple of days. What's the next thing that's going to pop up? Summer, right? Are you anybody getting overwhelmed thinking, oh my gosh, what are we going to do for the summer? It's all coming very quickly. I know that happens, but what I want to talk about today is slowing down a little bit and a little bit more about self-care. So I entitled this, put on your oxygen mask first. Now, when you're on a flight, they go around and they tell you that, right? You put yours on first before you put on your child's or help anybody else. Why do you put yours on first? Because if you don't and you pass out, you're gonna be of no good to anybody else to help anybody else on the plane. So you can really equate that to everything you do in your life. People think, oh, I'm being selfish if I'm gonna take a little bit of time for myself or if I'm going to do this or that. But no, self-care is so important because if we don't take that time for ourselves, how are we gonna be of any use to the rest of our family and helping out our friends when they need it? Because sleep, I think about sleep, right? So the other night I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do, I need to catch up. And where can I find some more hours? I can give up some sleep. But then I, I, as, as fast as I thought that, I thought, no, because what's going to happen? I'm going to be really, really tired the next day and I'm not going to be present for the kids and it's not going to be worth it. So get a good night's rest, maybe get up 10 minutes earlier, right? Be a little more productive in the morning. And that's exactly what I did. And I think we all need to stop and think about that. The things that we can do to help ourselves, which in turn will help every Body else. So I kind of got this idea yesterday. So I was in my networking group um, and one of my good friends, Jay Grossman, he always does the thought for the day. And he had a really good thing that he talked about. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to use that when I'm talking today on my live. So let me go back to Jay just for a second. If you guys do not know Jay Grossman, I know I've posted about him before. He is with iAuto Agent. He is fantastic. If you guys are thinking about buying or selling a car, please don't go to the dealership. Don't try to sell the car on your own. Get a hold of Jay. If you don't know him, reach out to me. I will put you guys in touch. He is fantastic. Um, he is just a man full of so much integrity. He is so helpful. And it is so easy when you're ready to buy a car and you go to the dealership, but all you got to do is sign the papers. There's no that haggling back and forth. Don't buy those extended warranties because he was nice and was able to get us out of one um, that we probably shouldn't have gotten because he got us a lot better deal. So anyway, little side note about Jay, but he is an awesome individual. So he runs our Wednesday networking group and his thought for the days, they're always amazing, but this one was a little bit different. So this acronym is called SAVERS. So the S stands for silence. And he talked about when you get up first thing in the morning, is the first thing you do is grab your phone because you shouldn't, because otherwise that's gonna set your whole tone for the day. Whether you see something on Facebook, whether you see a message that maybe you were waiting on or you don't wanna get, right? And you got it first thing in the morning. So why don't we just take a few minutes and meditate? Have a little silence. You can do your phone in a little bit, right? Don't do it as you're getting out of bed because that's just gonna set the tone for a bad day. So silence, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, but find a little time just to reflect and get ready for the day. The A in SAVERS stands for affirmations. Now, some of you might think these are silly, and honestly, I kind of used to think they were too, but they are so important. So start off with saying, I am this, right? I am grateful for another day. I am happy. I am beautiful. I am healthy. All these things you want to say about yourself. And I'm going to kind of throw back to being, you know, back in the pharmacy when I was the pharmacy manager. And actually, we all have to do those evaluations, a self-evaluation. And I'm sure in a lot of professions, you guys do those. And I would talk to people and I would say, why are you giving yourself, these are like on a five scale rating, right? Why would you give yourself a three just to meet expectations? Is that really all you think you're worth, right? Now, if you're going to give yourself a five to exceed expectations, then you need to give reasons why but it is so important to see yourself as that five or as that 10, whatever the top of the scale is, because if you don't see yourself that way, nobody else is going to see your worst for that way either. 
So it is so important. So really, even though I kind of thought they were silly, I was doing them years ago when I was giving myself fives and giving reasons why I am a five and I did exceed expectations on these different levels of the evaluation. So we should all strive to be that and we all are that. And if you're not, then we need to sit down and have a conversation because it is so important. If you are going to be there for everybody else, you have to know you are enough and you are amazing. Now, the next thing, the V in savers is visualization. I talk about this with my kids all the time. It is so important. You have to see it before it is going to come true. I don't care if it is what it's a goal that you have, if it's something that you, well, I guess goals are usually what it is, whether it's something you want to achieve later in your life, whether it's something you want to have, whatever it is, you have to see it. Always talk in the positive and always, 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 always see that. I remember back, oh my gosh, you guys know this about a year ago when Alex, he was going to be on the ice for the national anthem. When this little contest was going on, I saw it. Every Blues game we went to, I heard his name being announced when they announced another little kid that was going out there to stand on the blue line because I knew that date was coming up. And although I didn't know Alex had won the contest yet, I knew it in my heart and I saw it every time. And I'm telling you guys, this is so important. And when that phone call finally came, I was just crying. I knew this was like, this was crazy. I had already seen it. And I'll tell you one more little crazy visualization too. So that morning I had talked to one of my really good friends and I told her that I had talked to the photographer that was going to be out there. And I asked him if you know he could please get some pictures because I can't be on the ice. He's, he's going to do that. I told her, I said, I see a picture of Alex and Jordan Bennington standing next to each other. And oh my gosh, the next day, so that evening was the game. The next day I got an email from the pictures from the professional photographer. And there is a picture of the two of them looking at each other after Benny two went over and fist bumped Alex after the national anthem. And I can't, oh my gosh. I mean, it still gives me chills to think that, but I had seen that I had visualized it. And I really, you guys can tell me I'm crazy. <laughs> That's fine. You can put those comments in there, but I'm telling you, try it, see it. I tell the kids all the time, dream big and see it because that is so important in everything in your life. It truly, truly is. Um, now we're up to the E in savers and that is exercise. You guys find the time. This is number one for self-care. I talk about it all the time. You say, I don't have time to exercise. I get it. Okay. I, am, I Sometimes I meet myself coming and going, but you all brush your teeth at least twice a day. I want you to take 30 to 60 seconds and do some sort of exercise, a plank, sit-ups, push-ups, jumping jacks. I don't care what it is. You know, I know you had your phone. So set the timer on your phone and do it twice a day, every day. And if you want to increase it to two minutes or five minutes, fantastic. But please do that. Just take those couple minutes. I've talked about how it works before. You guys, it's a 15 minute workout in a sauna. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. Find the time, go there, no stress. You do it from your phone, you set up when you're there. Okay, this one spot's open, I'm gonna go in and work out. So please find that time to do it. Um, now we're up to the R in savers and that is reading. Reading is so important. I know the little cliche readers are leaders. Yeah, reader, I said that right, yeah. And they, But they are, they truly are. And I told the boys, I'm like, this is so important. We're all gonna find time every day. We're gonna sit down, everybody can have their own book and we're all going to read. And then we'll talk about what we read after we did it, but find something you love to read and read. It doesn't matter what it is. If you're somebody that is constantly in the car, then find you audible. You know, music is great, but it's really not gonna get you anywhere. Okay, so find the time to find a book either in your hand or on Audible that you want to listen to because it's super, super important. And the S stands for scribing. So that is writing. People journal, okay? Again, I thought, oh, really? It is important. If you want these goals to happen, you have to believe them, right? That's the affirmation. You have to see them, you have to visualize them, and you have to write them down. If you do all these things, you guys, the chances of them coming true are so much more. Put them around, put post-it notes. I love that. One time I was working on a really, really big goal. I was so excited about it and I realized I didn't have a post-it note because I like to have in my bathroom because I see that mirror, right, every day. I took lipstick out of my, of my drawer and I wrote all over the counter over the counter, oh my God, over the mirror, <laughs> the counter, all over the mirror. And when the boys came in there, like later on that day or the next day, they're like, mom, 
is that lipstick on the mirror? And I said, it is because I couldn't find a piece of paper and I was excited and I wanted to write it down. So keep that excitement, you guys. It is so important. But like I said, please put on that oxygen mask first. Self-care is absolutely key. So if this was overwhelming to you, if you think I'm crazy, <laughs> which I know it's, it's a little much sometimes, but I get really, really excited. I would love to have a conversation with you guys about your dreams. How are you going to achieve those? How are you going to find the time for self-care and where do you even begin? I mean, that is what I love to do. I love to have those conversations. So please reach out to me. I've got my healthy living group. If you guys are not in there, all these recorded things go in there as well. And I have conversations with everybody all the time. So let's sit down, let's not put it off anymore. It is essential that you work on yourself today. My name is Amy Gill, your pharmacist that cares.